Hey everyone, welcome to the Martial Arts Business Success Podcast number 85. Graham McDonald. Phil Britton, as always. <laughs> Look, we've got a really great one that we're going to talk about today. And it's, it's a topic that, to be honest with you, it's kind of a challenge for some people to break into or get their head around. It's called business to business. Mm. Now, it's got many different layers on this one. And in this economy, and I reckon even globally, we talk about building relationships with their students, but what about building relationships with the businesses around you or things that are gonna complement you as a martial arts school? So, look, Phil, where are we gonna start? There's plenty on this one, so yeah. let's dive in. I think uh, <clears throat> you wanna align yourself with like-minded businesses mm -hmm. or even businesses that uh, maybe even more professional than you. Like, last thing you wanna do is deposition yourself. Yeah. So first off, I'd be looking at uh, what businesses are around you and you won't I wouldn't even limit to the ones that are just around you because um, you can reach out to um, you know, any type of business yeah. but first off I'd be looking at what businesses are of that same level or higher level that we think is a good fit yep and is there some sort of relationship there yeah for example there is no point us probably doing a business to business relationship with um, I don't know, I think about a mining company. Right? Yeah, yeah, there yeah. might be, but you know, I mean, if it's completely polar opposite, there's no point. You wanna make sure that there is some sort of benefit for both of the businesses, that it's a win-win. Yeah. yeah. But guys, I'm gonna share with you something I helped a coaching client with recently, and it was a bit of a gem, because what they were doing is with a lot of their marketing and internal marketing, they were printing and designing the flyers and all the stuff themselves. Mm -hmm. They they had one of their staff members typing on the computer, doing their very best on Canva. Uh, they, were to, they were trying their utmost. But then when it came to the printing, they were simply just using their ink in their printer and mm. doing their best and cutting it up by hand. I said, why don't you go and connect with a local business. Why don't you go and speak to an actual printer who does that? Now, I know we have a printer that offers a free graphic design feature because we go and we spend money and we, we purchase products from them. So my suggestion to them was, why don't you hit up your local business that is in that sort of space, they're, they're a printing company, and say, look, we're not gonna take the mickey, I'm not gonna ask you to do it for free, but if I promote you and we build a relationship, can you give me the printing at cost price? Mm -hmm. So a lot less than what it normally would cost at retail. And how about then I promote and I let everybody know that I do my printing through you. So that for them with a quite a low budget mm -hmm. allowed them then to be able to become professional and allow them to have their product they delivered to their marketing audience at a higher level. So when you look at it now is the, the ROI, the return on investment, their marketing was a whole lot tighter, therefore they're probably gonna get a lot more students from mm -hmm. it. And the business that they're now promoting, which is this printing company, are appreciative because they've got a, a different audience. So it was a win-win situation all around. It simply was just go and have a chat. Now you may have one that goes, look, no thanks. You may have another go, perfect. I'd, I'd be happy to do that. So that's sort of, I guess, where do you start when you do this sort of stuff? How do you break the ice and get over those nerves and just go, you know what, what, is it, what, what do you got to lose? Yeah, you know, it comes to my mind is if you don't ask, you, you don't, don't get, get mm. you know what I mean? Like, and I think there's that fear of, of saying, getting someone to say no, but you know, like, geez, like I just said, if you don't ask, you don't get, you never know the opportunities that are out there. So it's just getting over that fear, that barrier of what's stopping you asking these businesses. Yep. Um, but also having your collateral down pat, like, yep. you know, you need to, it's a sales presentation. You're asking them to go into business, run a business with each other, <laughs> it's a relationship. And you want it to be a win-win and a good thing. So you need to have, you know, all your, ducks in a line so that when you go there, you look professional, you got your own professional staff, yep. you got all your stats, I've got this many students, I've got uh, you know these many kids and those many kids, they have two parents and the two parents you know go to work. You know, yeah. You've know, you got to have all your collateral yeah. down so that it's attractive for that person to be able to want to go to do business with you as well. So first I think it's just having the courage to, to go out to these businesses and be prepared to get the no's because as we know in sales, every no gets you closest to her. Yes. <laughs> That's it, mate. You know, yeah. like, it's the way it goes, so yeah. Look, I think also too, this is often neglected and overlooked. When you first go for a job interview, generally you're gonna bring a resume or a CV. Mm. Well, that's the same as when you go to do a business to business relationship. Where's your business CV? Where's your relationship? Where's, as Phil was pointing out there is, where's the buy on you as a company? Where's the buy as you as a person, as an instructor? What have you done for your community? You may have been in business for a long time in that space, but no one knows about you. Yeah. So, you know, again, it's one of those things where you're putting your best foot forward. It's, it's presenting yourself well going in there, not just sending an email and hoping for a response. You know, you need to talk to the decision makers and 
anything that we do, we would do a potentially a phone mail phone or a phone face to face and then another phone call to follow up on. So that would mean phone call, hey look, this is Graham from the WA Institute of Martial Arts. I'm interested in coming in and talking about a, a you know a win-win situation. Like, okay, who's the best person to speak to? Go in face to face, explain yourself, then once you're done. Call them back and say thank you so much for your time. I hope you uh, hope the information was appropriate, or you may have left something with them to think about, and that's where you follow up. So be sincere and genuine, and that's a really great starting point. Mm. Uh, so I would say if you were looking at and, and if just on that, every proposal that you go to a particular business should be a little bit different. Yeah. You may have the chunk of it the same, but you need to go like. If I go to this business and this business, what are the differences and what could I add value and how could they could add value? Because it might be a little bit different. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you, you know, you've, you've educated yourself on the, their business, what type of people are coming into their doors, what type of offer you're going to offer them, et cetera, et cetera. So for example, some of the things that we've aligned ourselves with and have done in the past and like right now the hot button is Power Rangers. Now we were all obviously in a really cool little position where Graham and I personally trained uh, Dacre Montgomery, which is the Red Ranger, which yep. is fantastic. You know, it's really cool to be a part of uh, a young kid having a having a crack at Hollywood, and <laughs> he's just going to be a superstar. Mm. So, you know, we've trained the Red Ranger, which is pretty cool. But in saying that, uh, whether we did that or not, uh, the movie's coming out, and that's a martial arts themed movie. And we've done it before with Kung Fu Panda and the Karate Kid and all that sort of stuff. But we align ourselves with the cinemas around our schools. And we just basically approach them and say, look, this is who we are. This is what we stand for. This is all that collateral. This is how many students we have. You know, even if you've got let hardly any students, you've still got to work out what's your bargaining yeah. power. Yeah. And at the end of the day now, we've worked with the cinemas um, and really they don't have to put any money up because we mm. supply the flyers, we yep. supply the cards, we supply the printing, we do everything. Yeah. All they have to do is when a parent or a child or whatever comes up to buy a ticket, they, the person at the teller um, cubicle gives them the ticket and also gives them the voucher that we have customly printed to each and every single one. Now just have a think about it. How many <laughs> people are going to go watch Power Rangers in the next, you know, however many weeks when it comes out? Yeah. You know, like it's insane yeah. at the coverage. Now, guys, you may just be going, "Whoa, that is large scale. That's huge." Well, there's a few things that we've done in the early days, strategies that we did that we went, you know what? let's let's get momentum let's get that confidence up let's deal with the people that we know that we've got a good relationship with so uh what we used to do is have five special vouchers done on some nice paper or some nice embossed paper so there was a little bit of a cost to us there but what you would do is you go to that business where you have a potential relationship and say look this is for you to give out a month's worth of your training to the value of x however much that may be to your five most valued clients and this is not on behalf of Wayman, this is on behalf of you as a business. So if Phil was a pool shop and I gave him to him, I would try and work uh, and build that relationship where here's the voucher, if there's a way that you could have their logos in there as well too, it's a win for them. But this is so that they can then reward their best client as a, hey, just as an extra bonus, this is a thank you for you. Now they may choose, their best client may choose to take up the offer, they may gift that onto somebody else and may just stop with them, but you know what? It's the act of giving and building that relationship that'll pay dividends later. And it's not a, I give you five, I'm gonna get back five. It's, yeah. I'm gonna give you five and who knows, I may get a quick return on those five people coming in. It may not ever come back, but it's about that relationship with you and that particular business. Because guess what? Next time you do something, they're gonna be talking about you. They may not even have five vouchers, they're still gonna talk about you. Mm. So these are things that you can do and they could be a, a mechanics, an air conditioning guy, a deli, it's up to you to decide who around you knows about you and wants to talk about you. And again, I'm sure they probably would have Facebook. Yeah. I'm sure they would say, geez, look, you know, that's in part of the proposal too, is to go, I'll give you five, I'll also, if you can give me an ad, I'll share it on my Facebook or whatever it may be. So mm. that's sort of where you can get a couple of quick wins at a lower level and then also then go, All right, what's my target or what's my, big picture items that I can go towards. And I guess we have one more great success story. And I know that this is a, a company that it's, you know, right around Australia, it's Lorna Jane. Mm -hmm. and, and Phil, can you remember what we did with the Lorna Jane crew and, and how we work with those guys? Yeah, look, um, obviously Lorna Jane is a female brand. So you wouldn't want to go to them and say, we've got this men's self-defense <laughs> thing going on. 
we just basically say that you know during a uh, International Women's Day or during a, or maybe there's a something that's happened in the news or maybe we're running a female only uh, self defence workshop or whatever it may be and we would like love to align ourselves with a particular brand and offer all your staff free access. Mm because we value the women in our community and think you guys are an awesome brand. So we'd like to give and gift all your staff and all your shops mm. to be able to come to our workshops for absolutely free. And you know, they were just taken back, they're like awesome and start working. <laughs> and then once that conversation, like literally we weren't asking for anything in return, we're looking at giving, giving, yeah. giving, 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 yeah. giving. Then that struck the conversation and then, then we start working with them more and more and more. Next thing you know, we're running workshops in their stores, <laughs> in the shopping centers, doing self-defense um, we're little po w workshops in the windows where the mannequins are and stuff like that. You know, like building a brand and connecting with brands like yeah. that. You know, it's all about that. You know, having the courage to ask and say, "This is what I'd like to do for you." I don't think necessarily want anything no. in, in, in back in return. But if there's a way we can build a relationship and have a win-win eventually, then fantastic. But yeah, yeah, definitely. Look, I'll, I'll, just before we kind of wrap up on this one, because we could talk about this for decades. You know. Business to business doesn't have to start with just a commercial business. Think of schools as a business as well. You know, they're in the business of obviously educating kids. Mm -hmm. This same process works in getting into schools, both primary school, high schools, and developing that relationship. So we are very fortunate that we are able to use this model and not get restricted or stuck on, it has to just be my local butchers. No, think big, be creative refine and test the measure and your proposals change with the obviously the audience or the person you're going for but guys get out there drum the streets again yes it's important to look for leads and rewards at the end of it but really that's not the driving force it's about building relationships in your community and i'll tell you what the rewards will come later absolutely guys well just to wrap up we just want to let you guys know about a couple of things that we've got going on within the team of world we've obviously got a brand new feature called the team of mastermind so that's for all the people who are paid members on our $99 a month program. They get access to you know, so many videos, uh, downloadables, all sorts of stuff. But now as the new extra value benefit, they get uploaded to a private Facebook mm. group and we do a live weekly Q&A for 30 minutes. It's basically having us in your corner, helping you answering the questions that are pressing right now. It's really that next level accountability. It's working really well. We started that a, a, a week or two ago, which is fantastic. We've got some great results. So if you want to have Graham and I in your corner, um, you know, you don't have to pay for the high ticket item coaching because we do do one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. Obviously that's quite expensive, but if you want sort of a, a lower level, still get access to us and all the resources, it's just $99 a month. And we also have the try five for five, which means you get five days for access, but $5. All you need to do is go to the, uh, the course where it's $99, and put in the promo code TRY5 and you'll get access to that and see what it's all about. Graham, got hey, anything else? We, we always uh, like to acknowledge our, our buddies from Hyper. Uh, guys, I can't say enough about their quality products that they do. Again, I'm kind of wearing their uh, <laughs> stuff as always. Love the brand. But just again, guys, just uh, check it out. There's obviously links that we'll, we'll post on here for you guys to get those rewards of being part of Teamer and being involved in our community. But just let you know, later this year, that we're teaming with the guys to bring you a bit of a road show. Yep. We're going to be coming to your state and delivering some really great stuff. So guys, there's plenty of info. It'll be some business development, instructor development, but also great stuff for your students. So stay, stay tuned, stay posted. And we'll tell you more about that as we go. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining us. Can't wait to see you and hear from you very, very soon. So we'll catch you on the flip side.